Maury, another of the 75 surprising truths is that great risk goes with great opportunity. You can't have the one without the other. Uh, right. Uh, in every opportunity, there are gains and losses. Uh, the risk comes in the decision to sustain loss. Uh, and the critical thing we fail to realize when people look at opportunities is there is no opportunity without loss. The gains are obvious to people. The losses are not. And the really courageous people make the decision to sustain the losses that come with, with the risk. Uh, and it, whether the opportunity results in great things or poor things, there's loss uh, created. And in fact, the more successful the opportunity is, the greater the loss. Have you found that most uh, corporate cultures, large organizations, really have a, a mechanism that designs out risk and therefore designs out opportunities? Oh, absolutely. Most of the corporations we've dealt with try to minimize risk, and when they do that, they minimize the opportunity in there, and they treat their people so fragilely that they assume they can't deal with the losses that come with the risk. Mm -hmm. And very important point here that every time there is a success in an the organization, there's a loss. And what most people want to do is cheerlead the gain and not deal with the loss. And it's absolutely critical they deal with that loss. Explain that just a little bit more. There's loss, but we've achieved our goal, but there's a loss? That's right, because in achieving the goal, you've redefined who the organization is and who every individual in your organization is. And in doing that, uh, you will have people step back for a moment and really question whether the game was worth it or not. So sustaining growth requires a culture that acknowledges the loss that occurs along the way. That's right. Uh, and the more successful the culture is, the more losses there are, and the more that acknowledgement has to precede any celebration. The worst thing our corporate clients do is cheerlead gains and never deal with the loss that comes with that. So there's a yin and yang factor there all the time. All, 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 all the time. And the successful companies are most prone, ironically, to failure if they don't deal with the losses. What about in our personal lives? How does this play out in our personal lives? Our avoidance of risk sure. also allows us to miss the opportunities? Oh yeah, you, you see that in life changes that people make. They, they uh, will turn down maybe a great opportunity, a great new job, because there are massive changes that come with it. In those changes are losses, and they'll often, instead of dealing with any of the losses, turn down the opportunity. What's the feelings one experiences? That uh, you might be a note that you're experiencing great change but it also might be a great opportunity. What's the... Oh, I think there's a sense of fear um, that certainly comes with that. Uh, if there's no fear, there's no real opportunity there. Because the fear really says, you know, there's going to be a price paid for this game. Mm. And there's an intuitive sense that, that says, wow, uh, do I really want to go through this? Mm. And do I really want to sustain any loss here? Or do I just want to keep it even? And, you know, that's what we say in our work. Mediocrity is a buffer against loss. So people who choose not to make much change are really saying, I don't want to sustain any loss, and I'll give up the opportunity to do that. And they're familiar maybe, let's not take that risk because I've been creamed in the past when I've done that. Right, I felt so bad when I did that because no one recognized and helped me deal with the loss. So I just was left with a lousy feeling. So we're always going to be faced with this dilemma of risk and opportunity. Uh, absolutely, there's, there's no way around it. Because if you want to gain something, you will lose something. And if you want to move forward, you're going to have to have these feelings of a little bit of fear. A little bit of fear, a little bit of sadness, a little bit of regret, all which comes with the process of dealing with the loss. And the yield or the reward for that is you're going to have successes and happiness as you... Right, you're going to have your highs and your lows. And one thing this culture has been totally out of whack about is to try to even out these highs and lows and we even institutionalize it in phrases like manic depression. Mm. You know, most of our modern life is like pretty manic depressive. Mm. Mm. Well, I think we're going to be returning to these concepts of risk and opportunity a little bit further uh, in our later questions, aren't we? Yes, definitely.